If we are saying the people do not know, does it mean you failed in your role? I want, I want to correct the impression yes. that um, I throw material there without explaining its mm. meaning and intention. The thing is, to drive a law into implementation, that is a process. The first stage was the formulation, the tabling it to cabinet, the tabling in parliament, the assenting to it. After it has been assented to by the chief executive, who is the president, it is sent back to the ministry or the sector where this bill is supposed to be implemented. And it is the duty of this sector ministry to come up with one commencement date mm. after having raised and produced a statutory instrument. Right? Two, this ministry is supposed to come up with regulations. The law cannot cover all the intricates of things that must be done by that law. So there is another, another, another stage, and you have to come up with what we call implementation strategy. And this implementation strategy is what will help those who are to enforce this law proceed without abrogating any other sector or, or, or clause of the law. Now, people have jumped into this law. I have not yet given the commencement date. I have not yet given the statutory uh, instrument. I have not come up with the regulations. What I'm saying is someone has gone too fast than the law was supposed to complete its process of implementation. Okay. Honorable Mariam, you belong to a group, UOPA, uh, a group that brings women parliamentarians together. Yeah. And UWOPA held a press conference not so long ago, and they were coming up against this law, saying that it was against women. And I think, as we've stated it, that some people are misinterpreting this law. Yes. And uh, I'm just surprised that uh, even the legislators themselves are trying to misinterpret it. Because w when you look at uh, this clause, uh, it has exceptions. Mm. Uh, it has so many exceptions, even when you go to the definition, but it has other exceptions. Uh, the women MPs have been actually up in arms because of the the practice that the men were doing on the street to yes. stri to, 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 to not to stripe women off their clothes. And that's what they were really saying. If this law is not well interpreted, mm -hmm. Then we will not. We don't support such a law. Okay. But I have told you that it's because of lack of uh, sensitization that people out there don't know. The MPs they know the law they passed because we debated it. We had a chance as Wopa. Uh, actually, uh, Wopa appeared before the committee and they brought in suggestions and they were carried in this uh, in the report, and we were there in the house. All the women we passed this law. So. What annoyed the women MP was the striping of uh, stri uh, the, the, the stripping Stripy. naked of the what of the women on the street, and we said, Father Rokodo, you better come out and tell the public the law that we passed states this. And I think by then, Father Rokodo had not come out to say I did not talk about miniskirt, mm. and the law doesn't talk about okay, miniskirt. Okay, so Father Rokodo, are the women free to put on their miniskirts? <laughs> <laughs> Someone is already volunteering an answer. <laughs> Just as my colleague, uh, Mariam, Honorable Mariam, said, in the definition, all is described and explained. Yes. So it tells you what you have to do or what you have to see. Yes, Honourable, it is uh, this listen, kind of listen, vagueness listen. that has made the community get confused. Uh, so are the people allowed to wear their miniskirts or they are not with the passing of this law? Put on your miniskirt, but please! <laughs> no, that? Pay attention. Actually, yes, as, I said, as I said, this law does not legislate on the way you dress yourself, but it legislates on the conduct. your 
decency, modesty, mm. and above all, integrity and dignity of the human person. Okay, so if your skirt mm. is such that mm. it reveals mm. what is supposed to be reserved, <laughs> and, uh, I, think I, can I have one. no, I have no <laughs> excuse but to call you, mm. eh? yes. to call you yes. a criminal. Okay, let me go to the audience. Mm. Do you have any questions for the panelists? Uh, my question is, you talked about the publication. Are you going to, does this law have any section whereby it's going to regulate media houses on what should be put out? Oh, thank you very much, uh, Dio Gracias. Yes, we know that the broadcasting is the real area we have been aiming at to curb the manifestation of this malpractice. Mm. So there will be a committee, and this committee will be empowered to be able to monitor, check, and ensure that whatever is on broadcast, is it written or electronic media, is decent and good for the consumption of the readers or the viewers. In the moment we find that there is a paper which broadcasts images, it is there describing the thing, information, technology, Ooh, uh, what is it in a cinematography, mm -hmm. indecent show, exhibition, name them all, publication, if there is any publication that can bear an inclination for one to think this pornographic, this, this house which produces this material will have to cease to operate. Right? Yeah, and uh, maybe it also to add on that, we already have laws in place which are also going to be enforced by this act. The Uganda Communication Act, which we passed, uh, we amended in last year, 2012, uh, under the Code of Ethics, the, the, the broadcasters, uh, they, 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 they have uh, certain regulations that bind them. Uh, we have a, a, a whole clause on local content whereby they will be regulated on what to air out. Uh, it's not carrying the whole entire DST channels and you air out the whole public. There's a law already in place which the president signed a long time ago in, 20, in 2011. Uh, it's going to be enforced by UCC and other regulations that are going to come along with this uh, anti-pornography. So it's not only this anti-pornography law that is in place to safeguard the public, but also other laws, the cyber laws I talked about, the UCC Act is already in place, so they are going to regulate a lot on the media, what media brings out. We want more of our local content. We want to see our artists. We view them the whole day than viewing people we don't know even we'll ever see them. Okay. <laughs> We're going to take a break right now, but when we come back, this debate on the Anti-Pornography Act continues. Stay watching our parliament. <laughs> 